Well, g'day Dragons fans, the weekend is here and I am ready for my close-up. So, here's the next player in our 2022 player reviews, and that's Max Fini. Now, Max entered 2021 expecting to be fighting week in, week out for a spot in the NRL team. In fact, with, with Bird rumoured to be coming back from injury in the back row, I had Max starting the year as one of the Dragons' centres. But... It didn't turn out that way. Bird got the centre spot, and Cody Ramsey held a wing spot for the early part of the season. Max was one of the was actually one of the few bright lights in the New South Wales Cup team, scoring five tries in six games, which is a great effort in a team that that wasn't scoring many points at all. This earned him another NRL berth in round eight. He then played four games in a row, scoring a double in round eleven against the Sharks before suffering a concussion that would see him miss 10 weeks of footy. 10 weeks out with concussion, effectively ending his season with no lower grades to come back to. <clears throat> the question for Max in 2022 is, how badly do you want this? He's got the talent to be a regular in the NRL team, and if he wants it badly enough, he could earn himself a centre spot at some stage ahead of Moses Sully. In the short term, it looks like he'll be competing with his brother, amongst others, for a spot on the wing. And based on what Matt did at the back end of last year, I think you have some catching up to do. So I expect Matt's to start the year in New South Wales Cup. The other concern is that concussion. Out for 10 weeks with concussion, once you've had one, we've seen with, with other sports, with guys like Will Pekofsky, and, and certainly we've seen it in the NRL with guys like Boyd Cordner. Once you've had a concussion, particularly a long-term concussion, you seem to be more susceptible to head knocks throughout the rest of the, your career. And given that he is so young, if he gets another, another head knock in 2022 and again misses a lengthy period of footy because of it, I don't know whether he's got much longevity in the sport of rugby league. I hope that that's not the case, and I hope he can fulfil his potential because he has plenty of it. That's Max Fenight. That's our thoughts on what, yeah, where we see Max going in 2022. Uh, tomorrow, we'll move on to Pawasa Farmer Silly, another bloke that we probably didn't get to see enough of in 2021 will we see more of him in 2022 uh, make sure you jump in into the comments let us know if you think max is uh, going to play a different role to the way we see it uh, and also make sure you follow us on on facebook on youtube on instagram and on twitter uh, until tomorrow see you then <laughs>